In this video, we are going to see how you can customize blog single post page layout using the Cadence theme. So right here you can see in the previous video, I showed you how you can create a custom blog page using the Cadence theme. In this video, we are going to look at how you can actually customize this blog page that you are seeing right here that is whenever you click on the blog post this page appears so if you are interested in learning how you can customize this page then without further ado let's get started now so the first thing that you want to do is to open this single blog post page and you need to ensure that you have cadence theme pro activated and cadence blocks pro activated as well so once you will get there click on the customize button right there and once you will click on the customize button the customizer will start getting loaded and then from here what you want to do is to click on this post or page layout so click on post or page layout and here you will see this option single post layout so click on the single post layout and this one is the single post layout that you are seeing right here so here you can see it says show post title if i toggle this off we won't be able to see the post title so i'll have to toggle this on in order to see the blog post title now we have two templates available for this we can choose this template where we'll have the title appear right at the top or we can choose this template that is actually in content so now the title is appearing in the content then we can choose the alignment of our, our title whether it's in center left align or the right align option then you have the option to display the breadcrumb if you want to display the breadcrumb you will toggle this on and here you can see we have this breadcrumb showing up right here if you want to display the categories you can display it here if you want to hide them just click here and they'll get hidden and here if we disable this the breadcrumb will get disabled if you want to show them just show this and these breadcrumbs are very important for the seo purposes as well now you can also move these things above or below each other so i have moved these categories below and if i toggle this on you can see the categories are now showing right here let's just move the categories at the top and breadcrumb at the bottom of the title right here and right at the bottom we have the meta if you want to display the meta by the way this is the meta by the author and the date you can display it or you can hide it from here you have then the control to sh uh, see what options you want to display inside the meta so i generally don't keep the meta because that is not very important and then if you want to display the post excerpt you can toggle this on if you don't want to display the post excerpt this is the post excerpt you can toggle this off all right next up we have this default post template so in all of this post template that you are seeing there is actually the default post template so right now this narrow one is selected if you will toggle on this normal layout you will notice that the layout is now changed and we have a normal layout on the website then you have this full width layout where your content will touch both of sides of your website next up you have this sidebar layout so if you want to have sidebar on the left side and the sidebar on the right side you can have this layout as well where you will have the sidebar on left or the right side so let me just show you how you can set up the sidebar real quick so if we go back in our customizer settings and here under the general settings you will see this option that says sidebar so click on the sidebar and from here you can define the width i think for now it is about 35 percent if we'll decrease the width to 20 percent you can see now this content area is expanded we can change it back to 30 percent and now the 30 percent of the area is the sidebar we don't have anything inside the sidebar that is why nothing is showing inside the sidebar right here but we can create a sidebar component inside the widget so i'll show you how you can create the sidebar components but before let's just look at all the options that we have available inside the customizer for this single post layout so next up we have this option content vertical padding if you want to enable the content vertical padding you can enable this option here if you don't want to enable the content vertical padding just disable it and it will disable the content vertical padding and now you can see that this image is actually touching the header so let's just keep it enabled and then if you want to display the featured image you can uh, toggle this on if you don't want to display you can toggle this off you have this option if you want to enable the featured image above then make it above it will appear at the above just like a card then if you want to display behind this will appear at the behind if you want to display below then the featured image will 
appear here below the title so you have these options available as well and then you have featured image width whether it is wide or stretch full you can make it stretch full and then it will stretch it full let's just keep it wide and then the featured image ratio if you want to have 16 by 9 you can have 16 by 9 and you have other ratios here available as well so i'll keep the inherent option here and then where it says show post tags it will show the blog post tags whichever blog post tags you will apply to your blog post these are the blog post tags and then show footer area in box mode if you will toggle this on it will enable the footer area in a box mode and this one is actually the footer area of your blog post this is now appearing in the footer mode if i'll toggle this off you will notice that now this is not in the box mode if you want to show the author box you can enable the author box from here and here you can see there is the author box you can also create the author box in the cadence theme as well if you want to display the navigation these are the navigation you can keep the navigation if you want to hide them you can hide the navigation and you can only keep the related post widget that is showing right here then from here you can define the column for your related post because we have a sidebar here that is why we have two columns here and i'm good with the two columns if you want you can have the three columns or four columns and they are suitable if you have the full area or the full page for your blog post Next up, we have this option and let's see loop related carousel. That is, this carousel will be endlessly looped and it will not come to an end. Next up, you have the option to show the comments. And here you can see it is showing all the comments that we have and then show the comment date. And here it is showing the comment date. If you want to hide it, you can hide the comment date from here and it will hide the comment date from this part. By the way, you also have some option available for the comments in the cadence theme. And for that, you will have to click on this general tab. And here you will see this option comments. So click on this comments. And here you will see these two options move comments input above co comment list. So if you will toggle this on, it will move this form above these comments right here if you want to remove comment website field then you can remove it from here i don't actually want to move the comments input at the top i just want to keep it just the way it is it is looking just fine all right so we have this template set it up right here now we actually have to see how we are going to create the sidebar that we have applied so i am going back to the normal website and exiting the customizer from here let's just try to create the sidebar for that you will have to hover over there and then you can go to this widgets option right here so i'll go to the widget option and here the widgets are loading so i remember it was the sidebar one i'll just uh, drag a couple of things from here so let's just duplicate this widget from here and let's just drag this widget from there to there and I also want to duplicate this widget. You can duplicate this widget and then you can duplicate uh, paste this widget right here. In the footer 2, I had this list. I want to duplicate this entire list and then I want to this entire list. I'll select this icon list from here and now I can duplicate it. Now it is duplicated and now I can drag it in the first sidebar that we are creating. So I'll paste it right here. Now if we'll update this and if we go back to the blog post and if I refresh this now here you can see it is actually showing whatever it has to show. Now in order to customize this further you can go to the customize option right here and then you have to click on this general tab and from here you can click on sidebar. So now you can define the width again and the widget spacing and if you want to make the sidebar sticky you can make it sticky as well so first of all let's just change these things so what i want to do is to change the sidebar background color to the blue color and now you can see this is the entire blue color i don't actually like it the way it is showing so i'll remove it and i want to change the title colors to the white color and the widget content color to the black color the way it is showing and for the links i want to have the underline here and all of those things so why this is not working right there it is because if i go to this widget settings here you can see i have applied the color here so if i remove these color settings from here you will notice that it will actually start showing just fine so under the style tab i'm removing any styling that i have applied to these components so let's just change this color to the blue color right here and we can actually do one more thing and that is we can add a row layout a row layout right here single row layout 
we need here and then we can actually drop all of those widgets that we have inside of this row widget so i'll drag this here and then for all of these icon list items we can copy it and we can paste it here by the way for all of these items you can change them to your categories and then you can make them clickables and the method of doing that is very simple you will just have to type in the categories name here and then remember we have added a row layout here so if i open this here is the row layout section here and this one entirely is the row layout so i can go to the style tab here and where it says classic i can add a background color so let's just add a background color of blue now because our title color is blue it is not showing properly we can change the color to the white color and we can also change all of these colors as well if we want to but i think i don't want to do that what i actually want to do is to change it to a different color so that we can differentiate what is the part of our um, sidebar so i'll click here and then you can go to the border settings and you can apply some border radius so i'll apply 8 pixels and now we have some sort of border radius applying right here all right now if i publish this and if we go to our blog post and if i refresh this you can see this is how our blog post is looking in order to make your categories clickable what you can do is to hover over to this post and then you can go to the categories and in the categories you can actually click on this view button and the view button and then you can copy the url you can go to the widget and then where it says lessons here you can insert this url i want to copy the other category url from here and i want to apply the url right here all right now I'll just click update now let's just close this and let's just try refreshing this and now here you can see these are clickable as well so you can also add the table of content here for that you need an additional plugin there are many videos available on my channel where i showed you how you can create a custom table of content for your blog post and there are many plugins available for that as well so this is actually how you can customize your single blog post page using the cadence theme i hope you have found this video helpful if you have found this video helpful be sure to hit the subscribe button be sure to hit the bell icon and if you have any question drop them in the comment section i'll try to get back to you as soon as i can thank you very much i'll see you in the next video